Hello everyone, Kevin Gurgley here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Bitdefender Antivirus Free. We will be testing it against 25 malicious zero-day samples um, that I have downloaded from various sources. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the test here in just a second. So stick with me and we'll be right back. Okay, before we get started, I just wanted to show you that this is Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. Um, it is, is stating that we're at risk because I do have the shield turned off at the second. Uh, with that being said, the Free Edition, um, it only includes basic antivirus protection for Windows PCs. So the other um, additional, you know, multi-layer ransomware protection, uh, complete protection, etc. These are all features for the Total Security Edition. Uh, so just keep that in mind that this is only going to be a basic protection um, platform that is in Bitdefender free. So with that being said, we can go ahead and get started here. I'm not sure how many we can actually run through without it removing them first. So we'll go ahead and try that out and see what happens. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get Process Explorer here running. And we'll have that running on one side of the screen while we have the other side for our zero-day zero samples. So here we go. Uh, we have 25 samples today. And we will go ahead and start running these. These are everything from Trojans to different um, encryptors and, um, you know, different malicious software. So there is quite a few different things in here. Um, so they are, whenever I turn this um, shield back on, you'll notice that they're going to start being deleted um, from the protection shield. So let's go ahead and just turn it on really quick. And now we are protected. So we are going to go ahead and just start running these really quick. And you'll notice that a lot of these are going to be um, blocked automatically just from access. So we'll just run down through really quick and see what we can get to run, if we can get anything to run. It shouldn't take very long because we only have 25 samples here. Uh, with that being said, go ahead and uh, check out our Discord if you're interested. I will leave the link in the description. Um, it's both my friend and I, Alex, uh, we both have a Discord server together, so uh, just keep that in mind if you are interested in joining that and getting involved in some of the conversations we have on there, feel free. And as you can see, as of right now, looks to be that Bitdefender is blocking everything. It's not letting us run any programs, so that is a good thing there. And as you can see, everything was just ran as administrator, and pretty much everything has been blocked. Nothing was allowed to run on the computer. Um, so let's go ahead and see if this, yeah, as you can see, this is still removing files as we go. So we'll just give it a second and see if it actually deletes everything. And as you can see, it's pretty much removing all the items now as we go through. Um, if you open up the interface here, you'll be able to see everything that's going on in the computer itself with the antivirus. It will show you all the threats that were blocked. Um, if you want to, you can actually click on them, exclude them, or um, if you go into quarantine, you can restore them, uh, delete them, etc. So you can, you can actually do that from the console itself. So this one's saying that it is corrupt. Let's go ahead and do a scan on this folder with um, Bitdefender. So it's showing zero items there. And with that being said, it did a pretty good job there. Um, I don't really have much to say other than it blocked everything that I threw at it, and those were all zero-D samples. Uh, so let's go ahead and run a full scan now with um, Bitdefender. Once it finishes, we'll go ahead and run a scan with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro just to double-check to make sure everything is clean, which I don't think it would not be. So just give us a few minutes here, and uh, whenever the scan finishes, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we are back, and after running the full scan with Bitdefender Antivirus Free, it did find 21 items, so we're going to go ahead and choose the action here to move all these to quarantine. We'll go ahead and apply that, and it actually did not resolve one issue. Um, so we'll just go ahead and ignore this one. This is actually a activation uh, tool that I use for Windows 7 on this virtual machine, so this is not a big deal. Um, so we will go ahead now and run uh, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro to see if they have anything else uh, that they find. Uh, this one is still in the folder here as um, it can't be run, so I'm not sure if it's 
uh, le legitimate false positive or what's going on. So we'll go ahead and run the uh, Hitman Pro and also the Malwarebytes full edition or free edition full scan. And we'll see what happens with that. So if you give me just a second, we'll be back here with the results of those tests. Okay, and we are back with the final results from Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro. And as you can see, there are four items here that are found from Malwarebytes. However, these two are that activator tool that I use for Windows 7 for this virtual machine. So these are false positives. And then these two are the uh, two shortcuts or two folders. So this folder and this folder on the desktop that I use for the zero day malware links. So those are nothing to be worried about as well. On the Hitman Pro side of things, the um, System32 and Services32, both in the those are two of those activators that I use as well, so those are false positive. And combofix.exe is a malicious or non-malicious uh, malware tool that I can use to remove malware from PC. So that is not a um, legitimate threat either. So overall, uh, Bitdefender free antivirus did a very good job. It didn't let anything through the system, and it actually blocked all the items prior to me actually being able to launch them. So that's a very, very good review and very good um prevention test by Bitdefender on their definition side of things and their block rates. So uh, with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you can also check out my technology blog at techformality.com. And at the top right corner, there's a contact button. If you wanted to send me a private message on there, you can. And I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can. And um, also, like I said earlier, you can be sure to check out our Discord. I will have the link in the description. And we have some content on there that we do not post on YouTube. And we have some general discussions and conversations that go on on there as well. So feel free to join that if you want to. Uh, with that being said, we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.